Here's to you, Andy. Well, my next guest is a Prince George's County playwright who sheds light on the unfiltered topics of race that often come up at family dinner. dinners. excuse me. But is America ready to come together and sit at the table of social justice? Well, playwright Shelby Baggett joins me now with some insight. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you for having me. You know, when I think about family dinners, that's when you get people's real unfiltered thoughts because Absolutely. they're family, so you can't <laughs> quit them or, or turn them off. What is the family dinner all about? So the family dinner is about um, a blended family coming together for the first time. Uh, in the world of the play, uh, local county officials have been embezzling the government's funding. And so the community is in a, in a, is, is in a chaos. Um, uh, politicians aren't at work. Um, no one's answering the phones. Uh, criminals are on the loose. And so this blended family is coming together in the midst of this chaos and trying to merge as one. This sounds like something familiar that Prince Georgians have lived through in recent years. Is your art inspired by real life? Absolutely. I would definitely say that this play is, um, it's definitely over the top, uh, but definitely inspired. Not from uh, exact current events, but definitely inspired. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so after producing your first play, Black Crown, you were awarded a grant from the Prince George's County Arts and Humanities Council yes. to produce another play. That's fantastic. Thank you so what, much. What is it about playwriting in that first play that drew people into your work? Well, Black Crown was inspired by uh, the lives of Nashante and Chloe Davis Green. Uh, Black Crown is a domestic violence play that I created um, in college. And so I just think that the message behind the play was just so impactful. And I had such a great team um, that supported me through that process. And so I believe people saw our potential with that project. And you're continuing to spread impactful messages with the family dinner. When I think about, uh, you know, Americans being ready for real conversations. With our digital feeds, we only get news we want to hear most of the time. So do you think Americans are ready to, to sit down and really hear each other out, outside of the algorithms that are just telling you what you already agree with? To be honest, absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. <laughs> Um, I definitely feel that theater or art in general is a great catalyst to use to just show a different perspective um, in a respectful and tasteful manner. And so I definitely feel that the family dinner will uh, allow these conversations to happen with ease. Okay, so we go, uh, we talk about um, politics, a misappropriation of funds by, by uh, county officials, and this is all happening in Prince George's County. Do you think that people will go to this play and have a sense of healing and more understanding as a result of seeing it? Absolutely. Um, I definitely feel that Art is the most impactful when you have local members of the community coming together and uh, sharing their perspective and filtering it through these characters in the world of this play, definitely. You have local actors acting? In yes, so funny enough, all of my actors are local Prince George's County residents, and so I definitely feel that our opinions will be heard. <laughs> I like that, they're bringing their families. When and where can we see this play? You can see the play at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts on Friday, September 6th and Saturday, September 7th at 7.30 p.m. Well, congratulations on your amazing uh, playwright career. Thank I'm looking you. forward to hearing and seeing more from you. Thank you. We'll be back with more Great Day Washington, but just a reminder, Shelby's play, The Family Dinner, premieres Friday, September 6th at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts. Great Day Washington, we'll be right back.